Um, I'd like to, Jose and Monica, would you all come up here, please? Now, uh, if anybody doesn't feel well after they ate the steak tonight, Jose is a cardiologist. And, uh, Monica is a pediatrician. Um, but uh, a great friend of mine, Dr. Mauricio Delgado, had, uh, and he met the uh, Catholic Brothers for Christ, and he um, started the Jasubi Foundation, which was putting uh, young kids in parochial school. And uh, I had three of them at one time, and I thought that was about to kill me, uh, to think about all the people that need help doing that. And the mission that he felt like um, started with one in 2010. And this is now um, 2017, and there's going to be 25 kids this year, um, that they're putting through parochial school. Do you guys realize how awesome that is? That's awesome. That is awesome. But you're right, that deserves the credit. At least he couldn't be here, so he sent the great, they just came in from Costa Rica, but he's in, uh, out of the country, and he told me the other day, my goal is 100 by 2020. A hundred kids, and when he starts talking about it, he says, if we don't get them before they get in high school and things like that, they end up in, in gangs and goes through how many do not graduate and all the things that happen. So I asked them, thank you for being here. Would you tell us a little bit about whatever you want? Sure. Uh, thank you. It's kind of a tough act to follow <laughs> after all this wonderful music. And I want to thank you and Norma and the uh, Brothers in Christ for inviting us here to be tonight. Uh, very humble, very honored to be here. And um, I'm not very, I'm, I'm not very, I, I'm not very good at standing in, in front of crowds, but so bear with me. <laughs> you did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's you know, this uh, my kind of this has been a very you know, a uh, big part of our life for the past seven years. Well, past five years, actually. Uh, Mauricio and Maria started this back in 2009. And, you know, they both, both of them went to Catholic school, and their kids went to Catholic school. And, you know, as, you know, as, as we know, uh, well, as many of us probably didn't know, you know, uh, especially Hispanics, uh, students particularly, uh, that are very disadvantaged in this country. Um, less than half of the Hispanic uh, population is, uh, will have a high school education. Less than a quarter will have a college education. And one of the problems we're going to run into is that probably by 2030, uh, Hispanics are going to be probably the majority in the state. By 2015, they're going to be the largest group in the whole country. That's, uh, that's what the statistics are. And uh, for me and Monica, you know, we both went to Catholic school. Uh, I am particularly in my case, um, I was the first one in my family to go to high school and to college. Uh, my dad only had an eighth grade degree, uh, eighth grade, and my mom only was able to go to ninth grade. Uh, he, you know, he became a grocer after a lot of hard work. My mom used to work as a uh, manager in a department store back in my hometown, Puerto Rico. And, uh, but they knew that the way out, you know, of a cycle of poverty and dependency was a good education. And they worked very hard uh, for me and my siblings to have that opportunity. And the vehicle was a Catholic education. So they put me through high, you know, grade school, all the way through high school. And then uh, I was able, because of the education that I had, I was able to find opportunities here. I came to the States to continue my education, and I became a physician. And it was because of that Catholic education. It really made a difference for me. It made a difference for Monica. And for these children, you know, when Mauricio and Maria started this back in 2009, I think the first year they only gave about six scholarships or something like that. Uh, this year, as you mentioned, we're going to get 25 scholarships. And many of those are thanks to your generosity and the generosity of our people <coughs> that, you know, that had you know, come to our, to our help and to believe in our cause. Um, it made a difference for us. I know that it's going to make a difference for all these children, and we hope that over the years we'll be able to keep uh, helping more and more people. Since 2009, we have given over scholar uh, 80 scholarships. 
So we'll be hitting the 100 scholarship mark this year. Thank you. Yeah, again, we are very humble. We are very grateful. And thank you, everybody. Thank you for your generosity and thank you for believing in this cause. It just means a lot to us that uh, we have other people that believe in us and believe in the passion in um, planting that seed in children, believing in that God and having that faith because I think it's really important that you plant that seed when they're young as kids and that's it's important that just like your songs um, mention that life gets hard but they can always depend on God and if they have that faith that foundation it is there for life it was yes. there for me and for for all of us and uh, that's where we go to when, when things get hard and um, thank you thank you for everything thank you. Mm -hmm. foundation and you know what we didn't tell them is what started the Jusubi Foundation, so but fourteen thousand dollars, which is going to put almost five, you know, yes. if we get fifteen thousand with five kids in parochial schools. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jatsumi, you didn't tell him, tell him real quick yeah. who he was. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, Jatsumi, uh, he was actually a patient of Dr. Delgado's. Uh, he, you know, he's a pediatric neurologist, and his area of expertise is uh, cerebral palsy. And this young kid did have cerebral palsy, and, uh, and Mauricio did, did a lot of work with him, and he was a very cheerful, full of life kid, very positive attitude. And uh, you know, it really touched Mauricio. And then unfortunately, the, the child, he died tragically in a motor vehicle accident when he was 11. Mm -hmm. And you know, for years, Mauricio had been thinking, uh, Maria had been thinking about do, doing something to try to, you know, as we were discussing, trying to you know, bring access to the uh, opportunities of uh, Catholic education for his children. And he decided to name the scholarship after this young child. So that's the name that Sui comes from. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.